Hello and welcome to TechTude. In this video, we will solve a previous year question which was asked in Kate 2011. This question is pretty basic, and if you have basic knowledge of even candidate key, you can solve this problem. So, let's start with understanding the problem first. So, it is given that consider a relational table with a single record for each registered student with the following attributes. So, we have been given few attributes. First one is registration number. So, registration number is unique registration number for each registered student. So, I'll mark few words or basically keywords. So, we have unique registration number. Okay for each registered student. Now UID. UID is unique identity number okay and unique at the national level. So it is unique at national level. So if users are from same country then it will be unique. Okay now next is bank account number. So unique account number at bank. So at bank level it is unique. Now it is also given that a student can have multiple multiple account numbers okay so multiple accounts a student can have or even they can have joint account okay they can have joint accounts now this attribute stores the primary account number so if for a student we have multiple account numbers okay then only the primary account number will be stored fine now next attribute is name so this is name of student and obviously name can repeat so it will not be unique we understand this now hostel room so in hostel we have room number of the hostel so room number will be stored okay and there is no more information given here now the question is which of the following option is incorrect so you need to be careful they are asking incorrect okay not correct now the first option is bank account number is a candidate key as bank account the information given is like a student can have multiple bank accounts okay but as the only primary is stored so there is no problem now we have been also given that students can have joint account okay so let's say two student s1 and s2 have joint account okay and the account number is let's say one two three okay in that case there will be a problem because and if they don't have other accounts okay so this is only the primary account okay so this for both student s1 and s2 the account number will be same right so if it is not unique if account number is not unique it cannot serve as candidate key so this is wrong okay and as it is wrong it is our answer fine now let's go through other options so we have been given registration number can be a primary key so it is correct because it has been given that unique registration number for each registered students okay so as it is unique for each registered student it will be it can serve as primary key or candidate key so this is a correct option uid is a candidate key if all students are from the same country so this is correct because as we discussed if we have student from same country let's say India at country level this UID is unique as we have to store students from a single country it will be unique okay so it can serve as a candidate key for that particular country now let's see the last option which is S is a super key such that S intersection UID is null means S is a set let's say of few attributes we don't know what intersection with with uid is equal to null what does it mean it means that this set of attributes which is forming our super key does not have uid okay so as it doesn't have uid intersection with uid is equal to null now then s intersection uid is also a key so if s union uid sorry so if with this set i am also including uid then it will be all it will again be a key or super key okay so this is obvious right this is correct as we know if abc is a key 
so inclusion of any attribute further will not disturb and it will uh, it will remain as a key so if abc is a key then a b c d will also a key right okay so this is correct this is correct inclusion of a attribute uid in super key s will make it as super key like it will remain a super key okay so this is correct so all three are correct and first one is wrong and which is our answer so i hope this is clear if you have any doubt please go to the doubt section of techtod and ask your doubt thanks for watching if you like this video and you want us to create more such videos please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe to techtod